Welcome to the channel. Today we're watching episode four of season two, Battlestar Galactica. It's called Resistance. Obviously, Colonel Ty just declared martial law, and so there's going to be some type of resistance, as there should be, because Colonel Ty, what are you thinking, my man? What do I want from this episode? First of all, last week's episode was such a great episode. Part of what made last week so great is that it was tight, tight, and it was focused, and it left out some of the characters. So this week, I need the characters that got left out. I need uh, I need Sharon, Boomer, uh, Hilo, Starbuck, that storyline specifically that they just completely ignored last week, which is fine. It was the right decision for the episode, but they're not going to do it to me two weeks in a row. So that is what I, I want most of all. But of course, we need to... I mean, the show is Battlestar Galactica. Not, hey, look what's happening on Cylon Occupied Caprica, okay? So let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's experience this episode right now for the very first time. Let's go! How long have you known Lieutenant Valeri was planning to assassinate Commander Dham? I what? had no idea she was planning anything of the kind. You were fracking her. Seriously? Wait, hang on. You're bringing him into this? I used bad judgment. You protected her at every turn. Ty, you're using bad judgment. I don't even want to use his rank right now, okay? No colonel right now. He's off the rails. Cylons don't have rights. He's not a Cylon. Colonel Ty. Don't talk to me like you're a soldier. You are not a soldier. Neither are you. Get him out of here. Wake up Adama immediately. Colonel, you gotta believe me. I am not a Cylon. I am so angry, but it's the good kind of angry. This show is amazing. Frack. I'm sorry, Frack. I have expected him to start hallucinating <laughs> and talking to number six. It just felt like that kind of moment. <sighs> I like them two being in the brig together. He doesn't want to talk to Don't you. You talk to me. I mean, yeah, I get it. I get it. But I don't like it. I want her treated better. And maybe I'm in the wrong for wanting her to be treated better. But dang it. Is it because I have compassion for the side of her that like genuinely doesn't know what's happening who are these folks or is it because it's grace park i don't know a. she just said fracking a i want to blow these cylons away before they ever knew what hit them oh oh my gosh they're on caprica these people are gonna they think okay wow holy <laughs> everything is firing at all cylinders uh here in season two towards... do you hear that yeah i heard it She's so good. Look at her not even like acting suspicious or like she heard something. Just very subtle. I think she's a Cylon. I know. I'm going to see the Colonel now. He was involved with Lieutenant Valeri, who most certainly is a toaster. That word is racist. I don't like it. <laughs> Tell me you won't have racial epithets used in your presence. Well, there's nothing I can do. The Cylon detector I developed doesn't work. Your child's going to be half toaster. How does that make you feel? Nothing can make me happier. <laughs> the double talk he has to do sometimes he is so interesting. He didn't tell anyone what you did on Cobalt. Save everyone else's life? You blackmailing me. Help the chief. Help yourself, doctor. I do That's think... your best at, isn't it? I do think that, oh, wow, yes, number six. Wow, scathing rebuke, I love that. He is best at helping himself. He should help, Tyrrell. If you let me test the chief's blood, I might be able to tell once and for all if No he's... if, I want a definitive answer. No more of your Weasley techno babble. He's a Cylon or he's not. Aren't you getting tired of the continual humiliation? Maybe it's time to do something about it. They say if they don't have a voice in the government. What? Nice. The captain says they'll send fuel once the civilian government has been restored. I love that. Martial law isn't going down too well. Some ships Good. are even refusing to resupply Galactica. And this is the honeymoon period. What's the dictator to do? <laughs> it's a great dynamic. I didn't know I needed this. Mm. Uh, you okay, baby? No, I'm not okay. Every time she disappears on screen, my skin is crawling off. I should probably call a summit, sit down with all the ship's captains and explain. Oh, screw them. Like, you have to explain yourself to oh, them? Wouldn't hurt. I feel like you absolutely have to explain yourself to them. Far be it for me to tell you how to do your job. Oh, she loves telling him how to do his job. Please. Bill would never do that. Every word I mean, is poison. Handle this the way you want. 
She's poison. Resupply operations of this ship are not, repeat, not optional. What are you going to do to make it not optional? Stern measures. Message ends. Are you going to attack your own people? Please don't kill each other. <laughs> Colonial fleet. Notice the uniforms? Yeah, right. We've seen Cylons in uniform before. I'm Anders. Samuel T. Anders? Yeah. He's in the Caprica Buccaneers. <laughs> How does a professional pyramid team survive a nuclear holocaust? We were in the mountains when the Cylons attacked. High altitude training. We've been on the run ever since. You know you guys suck, right? <laughs> can't shoot, can't pass. She's, she's always 100% her. Sending in the Marines. I want a raptor. This is wrong. Pull pilots and deck officers to command the boarding parties if you have to. Whatever it takes. Make it happen, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Just here for the supplies. I like to stand her away and no one gets hurt. This is... What is wrong with you? I feel like Colonel Ty should be stripped of his command when this is said and done and just be gone from the show. Although I don't want that assembly because I, I like him as a character, but I, this is... Unacceptable. Did you give the order on to every shoot level. on that crowd? No, sir, of course not. The crowd is out of control. They were pressing in on us. My men were getting hurt. Colonel Ty, you so can be angry at them all you want, but this is your responsibility. You're the one I blame. If ever we needed you, Bill, it's right now. Frack yeah. He has truly stepped over the line. It'll cause an explosion in the fleet. I've got to get out of here now. The question is, where do we go? I've got an idea about that. You're not going to like it. I can't wait to find out what it is. <laughs> this is all electric. Oh, man. You just manipulate. You always do. You put the knife in and you twist it. Oh, wow. Wait, yes. Call her out. me for your own inadequacies? You out. Oh, oh God, sir. She's my least favorite character, but you are... I love you so much. Shut up, Ellen. I have no words most toxic relationship on TV. What we had was nothing. Don't diminish it. I'm not. I'm here to determine whether you're a Cylon or not. What are you doing? I'm dying right now, Sharon. I can save him. If you tell me how many Cylons there are left in the fleet. I don't know. Do you love him, Sharon? Only you Clearly. can save him. Clearly, she, of the two of you, she's human and you're a monster. How does she know that? My goodness. What a horrible thing to do. I don't even care if it produced results or not. How many people do you have here? 53. We had almost 100 before wow. the toaster's ambush this last week. Let's go! Not exactly an army. A lot better than the two of us if we're going to assault an airbase, steal heavy raider, and get the frack off this planet. Anything I can do to make things easier for her? Great. Here's the big one. She, um... That's a special request. I could just get your signature, sir. Dual is helping them, yeah. Detected a series of scrambled calls going on over the past few hours. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, sir. Off law calls oh. are against regs. That's right. I don't know what to make of that. Was he just trying to make sure she's covered, or was he sniffing out a plan? Goodbye, Dad. Uh, come on, wake up. So he's innocent. She tricked him. Such loyalty. Were you fracking him too? Screw that guy. Yeah, hit him. Good piss of Boomer. She's the one who put the chief in the cell here, not us. Roger that. I'm having trouble with the ordinance tracking on my Raptor, sir. Change of plans, boys. I'm going to take a minute to do the lieutenant's job for her. <laughs> Make it look good, but not too good. I love watching a plan come together. I'm not even on the A-team. This is fantastic. Ah! Stand down. We each took an oath to protect and defend the Articles of Colonization. Those articles are under attack. You can either stand aside or you can shoot me. Good. I'm not getting on that ship with you. I'm shocked. At the very best, it'll create an insurgency against Adama and at the worst, civil war. Taking part in that is a line that I won't cross. I don't think this is going to go well for Billy staying behind. I wish you well. Ty's not going to treat him well. I respect his motivations and, and what he said, but he's going to be treated as a traitor. 
He will be in the brig now. Player for line. Standard port three. We'll come. Turn that ship around, Apollo, or I'll order the cap to shoot you down. And do what you have to do, the life again. Life is a hot dog. I need further instructions. Do I fire or not? Stand down. D, tell the hot dog to hold his fire. Thank you. Repeat, weapons hold. Do not fire. <sighs> Finally, a good choice. Anybody notice off log calls? No, no. sir. Yes! Gata, coming through. Good to see you, Madam President. Yeah, I don't like it either. Mr. Zarek here is the only one in the fleet with enough shady friends around who can <laughs> possibly hide us. Dang, he's right. I love the way he puts that. I was up for the pros. Bumney took me out of contention. Is that going to be your excuse? At least I have an excuse. Can't imagine what yours is going to be. Um, not that Starbuck and Apollo were like actually firing on all cylinders or anything, but I feel like there's some competition now. Like some actual competition. Baltar was never real, despite the fact she slept with them. <laughs> Dang. Nice Dang. The heat. Oof. What are they gonna do to her? They're setting up a new holding facility. There'll be tests. Like she's some kind of lab rat? That's the idea. You're a laughing stock! It was his son. So Yes! Woohoo! It was a genuine woohoo. Helen, can I speak to my XO? Yeah, get her the heck out of here. Little devil whispering in his ear or shouting. The way she talks to him actually does remind me a little bit of the way Six talks to Gaius. It's very manipulative. Just non-stop nonsense. I fracked things up and good. I've done that. I like that he's approaching this with understanding. A lot of pieces to pick up. We'll pick them up together. <laughs> Whoa. Callie. No, 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 no. I love you, Chief. No, no! She just dies instantly. Her injuries were way less severe than Commander Adama's, right? I mean, we don't know for sure that she's dead. She seemed pretty dead. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, obviously, I don't want her to be dead uh, i i don't want her to be shot but like i get it i get where callie is coming from although i disagree with her decision the show's on fire right now this was a full episode like i feel like i just ate a meal <laughs> like i'm full it was a very satisfying episode a very intense episode and a lot happened in this one we got more of boomer which i wanted some great boomer material scenes and I guess we'll just start there at the end with Boomer getting shot by Callie. I didn't see that coming. I mean, yeah, Callie was acting out more and more throughout the episode. And I was kind of I was kind of okay with it because like I I respect her uh, and you know her loyalty to Tyrrell. She went too far. I wonder how that's gonna play out. I mean, she shot a Cylon. Right? On one hand, how could anyone get in trouble for shooting a Cylon? On the other hand, she saw a silent that was in custody. Obviously, that's not okay. And it's wrong. You know, I, I have a lot of mixed feelings towards Cylons right now, especially specifically because of Boomer, right? The the Boomer Sharon dynamic, it forces me to see Cylons as not just machines. And I wonder, you know, is that just because they're programmed that way? Like, is that that maybe that's that Cylon model, whatever number it is, maybe that's their purpose is to make us see them as more than machines even though they're just machines but it, it it if that's the case it succeeds because right now i just it's hard to see cylons as just machines right now for whatever reason whether that's right whether that's wrong whatever you have your opinion please let me know what, what yours is but yeah it's just it's such an interesting dynamic to, to ponder and to think about they're people. Ah, I, I don't know. I mean, they've done... It's hard to say they're human 
Despite the fact that I, I said Boomer was human and Gaius wasn't, when Gaius did a very despicable thing, hopefully that information is useful, but I'm not sure that it actually is. I don't know. You know, but it's you can't call Cylons human because they did the most inhumane thing you could do, m mass genocide on a scale that we've never actually seen, right? Horrible, horrific, horrific. So like, even if that was done by a human, I would not call someone who participated in mass genocide like that human, right? It's the most inhumane thing that, that could, could transpire, or at least one of. But it's such an interesting dynamic uh, and a component of the show. We did get to see more of Hilo and Starbuck. Not exactly what I expected. Uh, I'm I'm looking for them to get off Galactica and re or get off Caprica and reunite with Galactica, right? But uh, we've slowed that down, I guess, and we met some new people. I'm curious to see at what point will the 50-ish folks, a part of the Buccaneers, will be added to the overall count, or you know, at what point will. <laughs> Uh, or would they, you know, not yet? It wouldn't make sense for them to be added yet because they're not a part of the count, but they are, right? Is the show just counting humans that we know of, or is it an official account that, you know, the the government that doesn't really exist right now is keeping track of, right? That We'll find out, I guess, next week if it goes up by 50 or not. But yeah, that's a really great dynamic. Uh, of course, they're playing a game called Pyramid. I think, if I remember correctly, the original card game on the original was Pyramid, and for whatever reason, it accidentally got translated to Triad here. So maybe adding this Pyramid game was a, a, a way to kind of keep that name in the show officially. Um, but yeah, Starbuck and Anders had immediate chemistry and heat. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really care that much, really. But uh, it's an interesting dynamic to add to the show. Curious to see how that uh, relationship eventually comes into a play and affects the Starbuck Apollo relationship, if at all. I absolutely loved watching Apollo and and Laura and everything working together to get them off of Galactica. And that little prison break scene was incredibly well done. Uh, it was rooting, the, you know, Duala was making all the right choices in my mind. And even Gaeta at the end, knowing that D had a lot to do with it, kind of covered it's like i didn't i don't i don't know i didn't see nothing i didn't i didn't there was no undocumented transmissions as far as i can tell i hey i, I don't know i don't know what you're talking about uh it, it was great to see kind of a lot of the crew take the side what i consider to be the right side <laughs> so yeah it was so painful watching ellen continue to whisper in ty's ear <sighs> and yes okay so uh, Having Commander Adama wake up at the end, I love that he woke up and immediately was kind of taking Colonel Ty's side because, right, no one knows the pressures of leadership and making the decisions that you make. It is a pressure. It he Commander Adama is right. Okay, it, you sometimes make bad choices, and, and hey, the pressure is real. And Ty is clearly the pressure got to him. I'm curious how Commander Adama might respond once it kind of becomes clear what decisions were made. Um, and what steps he's going to do to begin to make things right. Because he's got some work to do. Uh, obviously, having all of the, a lot of the ships revolting and turning against the Galactica, that was a really cool, a great way to show kind of some civil protest. Like, hey, we don't agree with this decision at all. It is wrong. And we're going to cut off supplies from you. I was shocked to see Ty turn to military action. Obviously, he didn't expect or anticipate it would actually turn violent and civilians would be shot, but that's what happened. Especially when you send in and recruit people that that's not their job. You start pulling people off of their rank to do other things. Why not go one at a time, sir? Why, why does it have to be simultaneous? Uh, that's irresponsible at minimum, reprehensible. <laughs> at, you know, it's just, it's horrible what he did. And what happened as a result of his decisions. I hope that there is some consequences for that from Commander Adama. Now, you know, he doesn't just get a free pass, in my opinion, because of the weight and the pressures of leadership. You're still responsible for the choices you make, even though uh, I sympathize with the difficulty of those choices. Again, I mean, things aren't always black and white. It's not, it's not always right and wrong. Although there is right and wrong, um, I'm sympathetic to the nuances and the grays that that exist in the decisions that we have to make in the world that we live in. 
but that doesn't that doesn't absolve you from consequences. And I hope that Colonel Ty experiences some form of consequence for the huge mess he caused. I guess we'll find out uh, next week, hopefully. Please let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comments. I absolutely loved this one. It was so good. And yeah, hit the like button, subscribe if you're enjoying these reactions, and check me out on Patreon if you want to support the channel or watch the full episodes with me. Um, I'm just I'm glad you're here watching with me here on YouTube, and I appreciate you. Here's another video you might enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.